Hello, my name is Nathan Knapp. Thank you so much for watching and welcome to my channel. This is an announcement video. I am going to read every single Repairman Jack book in order and I'm going to read one a week and post two different videos about each book. I'm going to do this from the very beginning until the end. The plan is to read, like I say, every Repairman, Repairman Jack book. Uh, and what that means is that's also going to include the Young Adult Trilogy of Repairman Jack, as well as Repairman Jack the Early Years Trilogy, and all six books in the Adversary Cycle, along with Quick Fixes, uh, Tales of Repairman Jack, which is short fiction that is all collected together. So, each book, like I say, is going to get two videos. The first video is going to be a very short, very quick book review. Basically, it is going to be spoiler free. I'm not going to get into a lot of the details of the book. And those videos are designed to, if, if you've read the book before, to kind of remind you of what it is. And if you haven't read the book before, to get a sense of what that particular edition has to do with, uh, what the story is in it, and I'll give you a very quick review and reaction to it. Then after that, I'm going to post a longer discussion video that's going to be full of spoilers, that's going to get into the actual details of the book, where I get into analysis and criticism and discussion and asking big questions, and just in general, telling you what my reactions are. So let's start going through what the books are and how exactly am I going to do this because as you can see I've got a lot of reading. This is a total of 27 books and the order is not exactly clear and F. Paul Wilson he is aware of this that it is actually kind of a challenging series to read just for that reason which is part of the reason why I'm doing this. I, I feel like there's not a lot of people who have actually read Repairman Jack books. And then when you start understanding that what F. Paul Wilson has done with his career is he has done this grand unification where he's trying to pull all of these different books together with all these different um, webs, bringing them all into this one concept of really the, the secret history of the world. So what do you do? Well, this is my plan. So I'm going to start with The Tomb. And so this is the first Repairman Jack book, but it's also the second book that he published in the Adversary Cycle. So I'm going to start with this. I have got the revised edition of it. I don't have the original edition. I don't know what that's going to do to the reading process, but we'll see. And then let's get into the actual Repairman Jack books uh, beyond that. So the second one is Legacies. Then we get into Conspiracies. Then we get into All the Rage. This is followed by Hosts. The Haunted Air comes next. Gateways, that's the Florida book. Crisscross. Infernal. Harbingers. Bloodline comes next. By the Sword. Ground Zero. Fatal Error. The Dark at the End. And then the last one is Night World. Now, I have had to, um, I, right now I only have got the original edition of Night World. I don't have the heavily revised version. So um, if you didn't know, or you know, if you're just learning this, uh, Night World was originally published in 1992, and then F. Paul Wilson heavily revised it and republished it in 2012. So if you did know that, then that's just a, a quick reminder. So I'm gonna start and I'm gonna do all of those. But if you know the series, then you know that this becomes a problem because two of those Repairman Jack books go in the adversary cycle. And so then the order of how do you read this and in what order becomes actually an interesting question. And I think it's a fun question to have. And then what do I do next? Do I read the Young Adult series or do I read Repairman Jack the early years? So at least at this point, my plan is to read the early years 
the trilogy that he published after he finished Repairman Jack. So that goes Cold City, that was 2012, uh, Dark City, that's 2013, and then Fear City, that's 2014. I plan on reading those next, and then I'm going to read the Young Adult series. So that is Jack, Secret Histories, Jack, Secret Vengeance, and then Jack, Secret Circles. Once I get through all of that, um, I'm still not exactly sure what I do next, but I think I'm then going to read Quick Fixes, which is the short fiction of Repairman Jack. So there's that whole thing. And once I finish with all of that, then I want to get into the adversary cycle. So what I'm going to then do is I'm going to read The Keep. And then I'm not sure if I'm going to reread The Tomb in light of um, the adversary cycle with what happens in The Keep. I haven't decided yet. And if you have thoughts on that, then you can let me know. Then I'm going to read The Touch, followed by Reborn followed by Reprisal, followed by Night World. So again, along with the tomb, because there's overlap, there are duplication between the two different series, then I'm not sure if I'm going to read reread Night World again. Although I think what I'm probably going to do is I'll read the original edition of Night World for the adversary cycle, and I think I'll try to get my hands on a revised edition and read that at the end of the Repairman Jack series. Uh, now, Wilson, he has suggested that the adversary cycle gets read in a different order than that was published in, because that's just going in the publication order. But what he has suggested for reading is that you go more in chronological order within the story universe, where you read The Keep, and then Reborn, and then The Touch, and then The Tomb, and then Reprisal, and then Night World at the end. So very likely, I'm going to read it in that order. Now, Obviously, I am starting with the tomb, and then I'm going to get into all of the Repairman Jack books. But if you've got thoughts of what I should read after that, then I do obviously still have a fair bit of time before I get to all of those other ones. So that is the the project. Um, I guess the next question is, why am I doing this? Uh, so this is a, a new channel that I have. That I, I've just started making booktube videos making videos for youtube i post podcasts on mondays with my brother um, called ignore the bell where we mostly talk about movies and then on thursdays i've been posting videos about books i absolutely love the repairman jack series there's so much that i love about it and for anyone who has already read it then you know this that there's not really anything else that's exactly like repairman jack the really interesting mix of the supernatural elements. You've got some horror elements, the science fiction that's mixed in, this cosmic battle that's going on, uh, hanging over the entire series. Repairman Jack's attitude and personality and his kind of reluctance to participate in this cosmic struggle, um, you know, and, and existing below the radar all of those really interesting things and the way they all get pulled together, it's so much fun. But when I read it, I didn't read them all in order. I was reading all kinds of other books in between and for the most part, I was reading them as he was publishing them. So I was reading them about a year apart and I kind of want to see what happens if I read them all immediately, one after the other. Uh, so this is going to take, as far as the videos, it's going to take 27 weeks. So almost seven months is what I'm going to be doing. I've basically got my reading set out for me over the next seven months. And I'm just documenting my reactions to just kind of see what ends up happening. So that's a big part of it. Now, I would like to very uh, briefly introduce who is Repairman Jack. So this is coming right from F. Paul Wilson. In case you have not read the series before, maybe you've read some other F. Paul Wilson stuff, but you haven't read Repairman Jack. And if so, you are in for quite a treat. Or if you've read the series before and you want to reread it, then this is a really good reminder of who is he and basically why do we like Jack so much? So according to Wilson, he says, 
He's an urban mercenary in Manhattan, a self-made outcast who lives in the interstices of modern society. A ghost in our machine, no official identity, no social security number, pays no taxes. He has a violent streak he sometimes finds hard to control. He hires out for cash to fix situations that have no legal remedy. The name Repairman Jack comes from his gunrunner pal, Abe. Jack's not crazy about it, but he lives with it. He's not a vigilante, not a do-gooder, he's not out to right wrongs, nor is he out to change the world or fight crime. He's a career criminal, after all, as are many of his friends. He's not Batman. He's just a guy with a devious mind who likes to work his best when he can see to it that what goes around comes around. If you follow him carefully, you'll see he gets a real jolt out of running a scam or setting someone up to be hoisted on his own petard. He came from a dream. The scene on the roof in the tomb was that dream. I worked backward and forward from there to create a character who could survive that situation. I decided on an anti-Jason Bourne, with no Black Ops, SEAL, or Special Forces training, no CIA or police background, no connection to officialdom. In other words, no safety net. No one in officialdom he could call on. He has to rely on his own wits and his own network. I've been a libertarian forever, so I figured I'd act out my libertarian dreams, you know, make this guy an anarchist with no identity. But as I've continued his adventures, I've learned that it takes a lot of effort to live below the radar, especially since 9-11. I intended Jack as a one-shot, which is kind of obvious at the end of the tomb. As I finished that novel, I thought, well, this character is definitely series material, so I gotta make it look like the guy is dead or they'll want more. I had books planned out and didn't want to get locked into a series. Then later on, Jack became a way out of a trap I'd gotten myself into with a medical thriller contract. I'd become bored with writing them after doing three, and I was contracted to do a fourth, but I had this idea for a techie thriller and thought, why don't I rework this and use Jack again? It'd be great for him. I named it Legacies and made his client a doctor so I could call it a medical thriller. The publisher was happy I was bringing back a character my fans wanted to see again, and I was happy to revisit Jack. A win-win. Legacies was fun and sold well, so I had to do another, and then another, and before I knew it, Jack had taken over my writing career. But before Legacies, I brought him back in shorter works, which is where you get the short fiction in uh, Quick Fixes. So, there's all of that. So, in addition to the announcement that I'm making about doing this Repairman Jack series, if you didn't know, and you are going to be happy about this if you're a Jack fan... There is another Repairman Jack book that is coming out, and it is going to be coming out this fall, so the fall of 2019. Um, and that is according to F. Paul Wilson, both on his Facebook page and on Twitter. He said that his publisher, Tor, is not going to be publishing the next Jack book, but it is going to get published one way or the other, whether he goes traditional or whether he pursues maybe independent publishing. So we'll see how it comes out, but he is insistent that it is coming out, now, he's not doing anything after Nightworld, which he has been insistent upon for a while, um, so that's no surprise. But if you do look within the series, then there is a little bit of space for him to do books in between. And so he has announced that it's going to be uh, taking place around Christmas. So a Christmas Jack book. And I am telling you, if Jack does not impale somebody with a Christmas tree, I'm going to be sorely disappointed. So if Wilson has not already done that, then Dr. Wilson, you have got a little bit of rewriting to do in the meantime. So as far as I can tell, that is going to take place between Ground Zero and Fatal Error. Uh, because just in the timeline, I got to imagine that that's where he's going to fit this book. I don't know what the title is going to be yet. And this is kind of a small hope that I've got for the channel, but if I could get an advanced reader copy of that book before it comes out to do a review and to, in part, to promote it, um, I would be very, very happy to do that. Just a, a little bit more about me before I finish. Um, so I am a writer as well, and F. Paul Wilson is actually helped a lot with my own writing. So my debut novel, it's on the big poster behind me, it's called Orphans of Liberty. It, it's not a Repairman Jack book by any means. It's not really dealing with the same themes um, or anything like that. But I did put a, a little nod to Jack in the book. So he does have my main character in the novel. He's got a, a, a Semmerling in his ankle holster. And that was in, intentionally for any Repairman Jack fans who read my book to be like, okay, I get it. I get it. I see the influence there, that little nod towards uh, Jack. So... That's just a little bit about me. 
you can help me with the project because I want this to be successful and obviously part of it is that I want it to be successful for my own channel uh, but really just as importantly I want it to be successful and I want this to get out there to as many people as possible because I think that the repairman jack books are so so good and very few people know about them and I think that this is a pretty good entry point into the series. I think it's a good time to start reading them because like I say there's going to be a new one coming out in the fall so I think there's going to be some excitement around the series again. But on top of that now having YouTube and being able to be part of the booktube community where I can post videos like this I think that gives people a way into it to kind of follow along as I read through all of them to be able to do that as well. So this is the first time I've asked for it on the channel, but if you subscribe, that would be great and I think that would help and if you like and if you share the video and if you know anybody who likes Repairman Jack or just somebody where you think they would like the series but it's a little bit overwhelming, then you know, please do direct them to these videos because my hope here is to not just do these videos where they're going to be helpful for returning fans, people who have read the books before, but people who have not read them, who are reading them for the very first time and who are getting introduced to all of the different themes in the series with the adversary cycle and how that ties into the books. And so I'm hoping that I can be helpful in that way. And honestly, I have no idea what's going to happen as I read them, which is really fun and really exciting because I've always had this idea of rereading the entire series very quickly in order and this justifies the amount of time that I'm going to be spending reading them where I'm actually documenting this and keeping a record of this in some way. So I hope that you enjoy it. I hope that you follow me along with this um, and any support you can offer, like I say, just even commenting or liking videos and that's great. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you watch the, the first video in the series which is going to be on the tomb and I will post that very likely the uh, next week. Uh, on Thursday around 4 o'clock. All right. Thanks so much. Bye.